teeth, you grab your strap, nigga All the time you get down on your knees, you don't crap, nigga Fuck what you heard, God blessing all the trout, nigga God blessing all the trout, nigga Yo, what's going on, YouTube? It is your boy, Tapex Ears, back! I'm with the commentary And this video is gonna be a top five best primary weapons in pretty much any Call of Duty that's been out yet. I've always wanted to do a couple of these like top five best videos. I actually have about three or four videos that I'm going to be releasing this week. Uh, pretty much like having a discussion with you guys on like what are the top five best whatever. So I'm going to start it off with top five best primary weapons. I'm not including Infinite Warfare just because you know it has nuke variants and that kind of just messes up the entire list. So I'm not even going to include um, I dub nor am I really going to include advanced warfare just because of the variance and I just feel like that's kind of unfair so that being said I'm going to go from pretty much the bottom of the list up five being like the worst of out of the list and number one being the best so the number five best gun in my opinion in pretty much Call of Duty history as you know the games we have now in my opinion is going to be the Black Ops 1 Galil Black Ops 1 Galil honestly it's a pretty darn good weapon. 35 bullets in the mag, very little recoil, pretty strong. You know, pretty much everybody and their mother used the Galil back in Black Ops 1. It was like one of those guns where you, you know, it was just a ghost camper, you know, a go-to weapon. Easy to use, high damage, you know, low recoil. Pretty much all around good gun. I'm um, definitely, you know, one of the guns I like to use in the game. Really didn't use Ghost that much, but, you know, but definitely for demo spawn trapping, you know, as well as just going for gameplays in general and having fun. The Galil, in my opinion, was definitely a solid choice for a weapon to use in Black Ops 1. So that's why I feel that that should be in the top five list of, like, one of the best guns in COD history because it is pretty insane and it is a pretty reliable gun. And I'm going to go on the number four four best gun in Call of Duty history and this one honestly was kind of hard um, I just felt that this gun should be you know on the list and that is going to be the MW2 MTAR or not the MTAR the TAR 21 from MW2 that gun is honestly amazing um, it shreds with stopping power that gun is literally like it's unstoppable it's absolutely amazing um, definitely if you played MW2 you definitely knew how insane the tar was definitely a go-to gun for competitive as well as pubs so that's why i feel that that gun should be in the list for the top five best guns and best uh, pretty much primaries uh, definitely a great gun man run it with silencer run it with fmj extended mags whatever you guys love to run it with i personally like using it with um fmj just because fmj and mono for two was absolutely insane so especially on the m tar just just an insane gun so yep that being said I'm gonna go on my number three best primary weapons in COD history and that is gonna be the MW3 MP7 definitely the MP7 definitely deserves to be up there that gun honestly is pretty 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 insane definitely you know one of the most overall most consistent weapons um in mono warfare 3 going for moabs triple moabs quad moabs pin of moabs pretty much anything that you guys wanted to go for the mp7 was definitely up there so if you guys you know loved mp7 you played mw3 you definitely definitely you know thought that the mp7 was a great gun i sure as heck did i dropped so many moabs so many doubles with that it's honestly just an insane weapon consistent reliable and you know it's SMG, so you had pretty much insane speed. So you know that's just a, a number on top of that. So that being said, I'm gonna go for the number two best primary weapon in pretty much COD history, and the number two weapon in my opinion. And you guys might not agree with me, but this is going to be the Black Ops One AK-47. Black Ops One AK-47, absolutely insane. You guys remember saying a lot of the guns have been Black Ops One, but Black Ops One, in my opinion, had some of the best guns in COD. They just absolutely insane. They shredded. B01 AK-47 was absolutely insane. Um, really, really manageable recoil. It's a really consistent weapon. Put that with fast mags or with extended mags it just absolutely just shredded people if you were around back in the day you guys definitely know what i mean about the black ops one guns being absolutely amazing 
Um, they just, they really were. And Black Ops One honestly wasn't even my favorite Call of Duty. They just had some pretty kick-ass weapons in that game. And I hope you guys agree that you know the Black Ops One AK-47 was absolutely insane. So if you guys you know have not used it and you guys actually have a copy of BO One or you guys can go out and get a copy of BO One, I highly recommend that you guys go ahead pick up that game. You know, grind all the levels and try that out because it is definitely a gun that you guys missed out on definitely wanted to use it's just absolutely insane the next call of duty made by sledgehammer if it is a vietnam game you best believe the ak-47 is going to be my use my most used gun in that game because it's just one of those guns in cod but it's just like you it just you just can't go wrong it's just always good always consistent good iron sights good damage manageable recoil just an all-around good gun and the number one gun in cod history that you know i think it's everybody's like everybody's gonna agree with it it's gonna be the mw3 acr definitely it just an insane gun absolutely insane just because that gun it just it just shreds everybody used it everybody thought it was amazing uh including myself just one of the best guns to get moabs with uh just an all-around consistent weapon absolutely insane and, you know, it definitely deserves the top, you know, number one list as one of the best primary weapons in COD history just because that gun just absolutely just, just destroyed people. So, yeah, that's going to be my top five lists of, you know, the best primary weapons in COD history. I'm going to list some honorable mentions that I believe that should um, be on that list. And that definitely is going to be the Ghost AK-12 and the Ghost Honey Badger. Both are just insane guns. Um, pretty insane. You know, those weapons were definitely good. And just for the fact that I didn't include those is just because uh, Ghost, a lot of the weapons got nerfed, including the AK-12. And the AK-12 really, it really wasn't as good as it was uh, pre-patch. Um, definitely would have made it if it didn't get nerfed. Honey Badger, didn't really include the Honey Badger just because, I mean, it's not, it's good, but... It, do, it doesn't compare to, you know, the other guns on the list, in my opinion. Uh, let me know what you guys think in the comment section down below. If you guys agree with me on my list. Uh, if you guys, you know, want to definitely, you know, and, you know, include some weapons in the comment section that I'm probably have missed and you think that are better, make sure you guys let me know in the comment section below. It's been your boy, Tapix Ears. Hope you enjoyed, you know, this top five weapon comparison. Top five best guns in Call of Duty history. Definitely, you know, I think it's a pretty solid list. Hope you guys enjoyed this double de atomizer fail. Pretty much died on 220s in the same game with TDM. Definitely, you know, unfortunate. And I'm going to catch you guys in the next top five comparison videos I'm going to be putting on my channel probably tomorrow. Actually, yeah, tomorrow. So hope you guys stay pumped for that, and I'll catch you guys in the next video. Peace.